Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about rhythm. Can you repeat after me? Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Long and short sounds. Very good. Now, if you remember when we're reading rhythms, we use nicknames to name the different note values that we have. Can you repeat after me again and let's review those note values? This is a quarter note. We call him Ta. Show me on your fingers how many sounds Ta gets. How many times did you clap? Everybody say one sound on the beat. These are eighth notes. We call them Ti Ti. Very good. Can you show me on your fingers how many sounds Ti Ti makes? How many times did you clap? T, T. Everybody say two sounds on the beat. This is a quarter rest. It gets no sound. Very good job. Can you show me on your fingers how many beats of silence it got? Can you repeat after me? Can you say no sound on the beat? Very good, boys and girls. Let's see if we can use what we know to read the rhythm of this rhyme that's on the board. Let's read the rhythms first. Let's start right here. Here we go. Ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta, ta-ta, ti-ti-ta, ta. Very good job. Let's clap these rhythms. Can you repeat after me? Ti-ti-ta. Ti ti ta, ta ta, ti ti ta, ta. Very good job. Let's see if we can put the words that are under it together with the rhythm. Can you repeat after me? Terrible, horrible. No good, very bad. Okay. Very good job. Can we clap that whole thing together? Here we go. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Okay, boys and girls, let's see if we can transfer that rhythm and rhyme to an instrument. Now, if you don't have an instrument at home, I have my conga drum here with me, but if you don't have an instrument at home, you can clap the rhythm along with us. You can pat it on your legs like a drum. You could pat it on a bucket. You could pat it on a bowl. You could tap sticks together. You could tap spoons together. Whatever you decide to use as your instrument. So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to get your instrument together and meet me back here. boys and girls. Repeat after me. Terrible. Very good job. Can we put that whole thing together on our instruments? Here we go. Terrible. to read a book called Alexander and a Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And every time I say that part in the story, I want you to say it and play it with me. Can we do it one more time? Here we go. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Alexander and the Judith Fjorst, illustrated by Ray Cruz. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, 
Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a Junior Undercover Agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Miss Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible. liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. Hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was because after school my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. <laughs> next week I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I, when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was as careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible. for dinner and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that, even in Australia. I hope you enjoyed our book, boys and girls. I'll see you next week.